us two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks ago that we need to watch the show. It's like, you have to watch it. It's only on Apple Plus. They had like 20 nominations for the Emmys this past um, two weekends ago and they won eight of them. It's an amazing show. We binge watched the entire first season. We are caught up with season two. We're waiting every Friday night now for the next one. And one of the things that, what? Are you tell them the name of the show? It's in the title. Oh. It says Ted Lasso's Biscuits with the oh, Boss. God, yeah, and I was explaining what Biscuits with the... My husband's like, are you going to tell them what the show is? So it's Ted Lasso's Biscuits with the Boss. Ted Lasso's the main character. He's the he's the coach um, for a football team in England. And he makes these biscuits, which are shortbread cookies, for his boss. Biscuits with the boss. And he puts them in a pink little box. And I love them. So... I don't know why my chat keeps going away though. Am I still live? Mm-hmm. Oh, can you fix that so I can see the chat? Anyways, so we're gonna make biscuits with the boss. The Tupperware that we're gonna use are normally measuring cups and spoons. And then the whip-in mix is one of the items. This is like a KitchenAid mixer without having to have cords. And we're going to use our Micropro grill and a ring. Now, this recipe comes from a lady named Anna, who wrote this for People Magazine, and I just converted it to Tupperize it. Now, there's some key things to know about this recipe. One, you want to use parchment paper on the bottom of your Micropro grill. This is going to prevent the shortbread from actually... Um, I don't know how to use your phone. Well, it's working now. Um, it's going to prevent your shortbread from burning on the bottom because the sugars are going to crystallize. Now, whether you bake this or you make it in the Micropro Grill, that method is suggested for both. So we're going to take the parchment paper. It's very important you have parchment paper, not wax paper. Because if you have wax paper, you're going to end up having wax on the bottom of your Micropro Grill. Now, if you are having the... Um, if you are having your oven using it, then you're going to want to have it greased on the bottom with butter to get it to stick. Because we're using the Micropro Grill, there's really no need to do that here. It's just going to stick because I'm gonna push this down and you do want it to overlap a little bit like so, but this, ring that we're going to use to make sure it cooks evenly is going to weigh it down and keep the parchment paper down. So that's why you don't need to use the extra butter. So this recipe calls for one stick of butter softened. This has been sitting out most of the day. If yours is a little bit hard, you're going to want to cut it into pieces so that it's easy to blend. Well, so that's one stick of butter softened in your with a mix. And then you need one fourth cup sugar. And we keep our sugar in our modulates because then it won't go bad. I'm a baker, I'm not a cooker. And in the fall and winter time, I tend to bake more than I normally would. So we have one cup of flour that goes with it. And then we need one half teaspoon of vanilla. And I do, it does call for real vanilla. And one fourth teaspoon of fine sea salt. So not the um, kosher salt because that's not and salt is really important for recipes because it does give a little bit of extra flavor. And that's all you need for it. Live chat. I don't know why I'm not seeing the chat, but that's fine. All right. So now it has a whip and mix. The whip and mix has two settings. Setting number one is going to whip it. And I can't really turn it very well, okay? Setting number two, this is going to mix it. 
and it slows the gears down so it turns it into a KitchenAid mixer just like we talked about. You only want to stir this enough to combine it all so it becomes clumpy, which it basically almost did. You can see, I can see it right here. Yeah, there's flour on the edges. My husband says there's flour on the edges, so I need to go ahead and scrape it. So you want to make sure it's all kind of coming together. You don't want to overmix a shortbread. Really, you don't want to overmix anything you bake. So you only want to have a little bit of time. All right, so then it's come together. You have your whip and mix. Pull it up just a little bit so you can get the beaters to be clean. And then when you wash it with soapy water, what's really cool is you can put soapy water into your whip and mix and stir it around and it's going to take all this, the wonderful dough off of it. I like to give it a quick stir just to make sure that no flour, sugar, salt ever was on the bottom because we want to make sure it's all thoroughly combined. And then what you're going to do is put it into your ring of your microphone. And I'm going to kind of smoosh down the parchment paper just a tad. And then I, you smoosh, this is a very much a Tupperware term, you smoosh the shortbread into the ring. Can I have like a spoon or something so I can scrape the spatula, please? You wanna to try to make it as even as you possibly can. So that way it will rise. It's not gonna rise very much. There's really nothing in a shortbread cookie to cause it to rise. So you're basically just making it possible for your cookie to brown. So then what we're going to do, if you were cooking this in an oven, you would cook it at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. We're going to cook this in the microplow grill, and it's also double the recipe. We're going to cook it in the microplow grill for four, 12 to 14 minutes at 70% power. And the reason why we want to do 70% power versus high power is we want to lower the temperature of the microwave because the microwave at high power is 500 degrees and we want to lower it to about that 350 degrees. The key thing to do though is when you are done, it needs to sit in the micropro grill with a cover off of it because this cover is going to heat up to 425 degrees and the base is going to be 425 degrees. It needs to sit inside of here while the microplow grill is cooling down because that's going to actually brown the bottom of the cookie itself. You put it into, there's two settings with the microplow grill. There's a grill setting and there is a bake setting and we're going to use the bake setting and you know that you've got the right setting because there's an arrow right here on the side of the microplow grill and you match the bake side which is the taller side. Now why do we want that? We want to have the edges on the sides open. When it's on grill mode, it's not. So we want to make sure that we can get some extra air in it. It's going to help it cook and bake evenly. So Rich is going to put that into the microwave for 14 minutes. Are we doing 14 or 12? Do you do 12? 12 minutes and 30 seconds at 70% power. And through the magic of television, I saved what I made last night to figure out the recipe. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It is flaky. It has a little bit of browning on the bottom because we left it in the pan. And it is so crumbly and so yummy. This made an entire ring and there's three pieces left because I ate them all. So they're really good. So that is biscuits with the boss. When it's all done, when it's all cooled down, how we took it out of the ring is we 
lifted the parchment paper up and out and put it onto a plate and kind of slid it out and then I cut it into eight slices so that it could be little itty bitty bars. So do you want to try biscuits with the boss? If so, let me know in the comments below. Let us know how it turns out for you because it is a really delicious recipe. And for those of you who are watching from our Food and Fun group, our mega Facebook party starts tomorrow on the 29th. And you, if you want to make sure that you check in with your host when they have 20 or more check-ins, they are going to win a prize from me. So, and they need it by 7 p.m. tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you. Have an amazing night. Bye.